After helping many, many business owners get their online ordering up and running, typically the questions I get asked is, how do I get started? How do I start the free trial? How do I get my first online order? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's a merchant that's actually using the online ordering. What they did was they uploaded their images, the description, um, and of course the pricing. All this information comes from the Clover POS. When you install the application from your computer, it imports your Clover inventory to an online order page. So this is called an online order page. All you're doing after it's imported, you're uploading your category image, which are these, your header image, which is this, and your logo. Everything else is pretty much created for you, okay? And the other nice thing about it is that it has different store interfaces. So what do I mean by that? Okay, when you install the app in the back end, you can choose whether you want your online order page to look like this, to look like this, which is interface four, to look like this, or to look like this. You have many different options. There's actually six of them. In this example, this merchant chose number six, I'm sorry, number four. You can choose this one if you like this style. If you don't like that style, you can choose this style, which is number five. This is number six. So again, it's up to you which style you like the best. Once you like that style, the next step is you simply upload your images, description. If you don't want to upload images, description, you want to, you want to just have an online order page, then choose this store interface, okay? Let me show you what that one looks like. This is store interface number three. See how it's very simple? It gets right to the point. It shows your menu. People click on it and they order. Um, right that's what that does you can also customize the colors you can make it yellow blue green uh, it's very customizable as you can see now that you have seen what the online order page looks like the next thing to do is to install the application so how do you install the application you install it from your clover dashboard so as you can see this is the clover dashboard it should look similar to yours remember you're doing this from your computer from your laptop from your ipad i prefer your computer or laptop but this is how you do it. The first thing you want to do is you want to choose the correct location. See, see, there's many, you may have more than one location. If you have more than one location, choose that correct location. So for example, in this scenario, I'm going to choose Mike's restaurant. So I'm going to install smart online order at Mike's restaurant. And then once I finish this location, I can do my other locations as well. But you want to start with your first location and then move on to the other locations. So how do I do that? I press more tools. And that's probably how you found this app. You probably found this app by pressing more tools. So if you're already in this screen, the next thing to do is just install it. So I'm going to go ahead and search for it so I can find it. And then once you search for it and you find it, just click on it one time. And then there's a connect button that you could that you should be able to see. Press this button right here, connect, okay? And then you want to choose unlimited orders. Uh, most of you will probably, most of you are probably a restaurant. If you're a restaurant, choose this option. This means you already have a website. All you're doing is connecting to your website or making a link to connect to your website. So this will work with your WordPress, your GoDaddy, uh, your Squarespace, or any website that you currently have. This one, if you're confused about this option, that means that means you probably are not familiar with are not familiar with WooCommerce. So you can just uh, avoid this one or disregard this one. People that have WooCommerce will know what this is. If you don't know what this is, you can ignore it. Uh, this is some. This is part of WordPress. This is good for retail establishments. So if you're a retail store, select this option, okay? But if, you're not, if you don't know what this is, uh, you can ignore this one because um, the, the best one is for you is this one right here, the restaurant. But if you know what this is, then you go ahead and select this option. And then for those of you that are fresh, just getting started don't know what websites are don't know what to do uh, and you need, and you don't have a website and then choose this option because this one will will allow us to create for you a website okay but in this example i'm going to choose this one i'm going to i'm going to assume that, are, that you already have a website and you want to install the online ordering so press accept and then once you press accept the next step is to um fill out a small form uh, this form allows you to put in your information so that your online order page is set up. You'll see three options. It's going to say, what best describes your current situation? 
I have a WordPress website or I'm a web developer. If you're a web developer and you already know how to do these things, just select this option, you'll get the API key and you're done and you can paste and copy it. But for most of you that are watching this video, I would recommend selecting this option, the third one, okay? Again, even if you select this option and it's not the right option for you, don't worry, you can always go back and change it. But for most merchants, this is the correct, this is the correct one. And for those of you that are that don't have a website, then choose this option, okay? Remember, after you choose this option, make sure to call us because we won't know uh, how you want your website built. We need more information from you. So as, 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 as you can see from here, it says, by selecting this option, uh, a complete new website will be built for you. Please call us after selecting this option. Some merchants, they select this option and they never call us. And then we, we can't get a hold of them because they forget all about it. So remember, after you select this option, try to get a hold of us or call us. Uh, we'll try to reach out to you, but uh, we try to leave you a voicemail, but make sure to return our call so we can uh, get you going. Okay, in this example, I'm gonna go with this one, okay? And again, these are documentations that you can open and read, but for now, let's do this one. Domain name. One thing I noticed uh, most people do is they start putting a space. So don't put a space here, just write your domain name. If your website's name is uh, Mike's, um, Mike's Pizza, just put Mike's Pizza, okay? Don't put a space there because this will be your online order page like that. So if your website's name is uh, Jessica's Bagels, just put Jessica's Bagels, okay? Just like that. No space, no dot .com, nothing like that. Just like that. If your store name is um, Mike's Sushi, just put Mike's Sushi, okay? Just like that. And then put your name, your phone number, your email, password. Remember, this email and password is what you're going to use to log into your online order page. So just make sure when you when you when you um, put it here that you have it memorized uh, or written down somewhere because you'll need it again. Logo. This is very important. Uh, you want to upload your logo right here. If you don't have it, don't worry. You can upload it later. But it's very good idea to do it now. Header image. This is also um, important because when people order online from you, they want to they want to get an idea. Of what your food overall looks like. So what, what's a what's a uh, header image? Let me show you. This is a header image. Okay, this is what a header image looks like. Uh, that's why it's important to upload one. This is called a category image. You can upload a category image later on. So for now, you want to pick a nice picture of food. Okay, uh, just upload it. If you later on, if you find out it's not the correct image, you can always change it. Uh, but for now, just choose one. Okay, and then press submit. Okay, once you do all this stuff, um, you'll have there's a video for you. To be, uh, there's a video that'll be shown to you. Make sure to watch that video because there are additional steps you have to take. And uh, let me briefly go over those additional steps. Once you install your online order page, you'll be able to log in. But before you do that, do the following: press setup right here, setup on the left hand side. Okay, and once you press setup, just make sure your address is correct. Uh, this is very important because I had one merchant, he had his home address here, and then he got a delivery order, and what happened was the customer showed up at his home to pick up his food. Uh, I know that may sound funny, but uh, he, it actually happened to him. Uh, so make sure your business address is here, okay? Not your home address. And then also your, your business phone number, not your home phone number, uh, because your, your customer is going to call you if they have any questions, okay? Because uh, all the uh, questions, inquiries, your address comes to you. It doesn't come to us because they're dealing uh, directly with you. So, so they're going to order the food and come to you and uh, ask you for assistance. And then business hours. Uh, this is very important. You want to add your business hours. Why? Uh, because if you don't add your business hours, somebody's going to order before you open or after you close. So you want to make sure your business hours are correct. Uh, let's say you're open from 9 to 5, then put 9 to 5. If you're closed on Sundays, then just put close right here. Okay, let's say uh, your business hours changes in the winter. Come back over here and change it. Uh, you want to make sure your business hours are always updated. Let's say you're closed for Christmas and Christmas is on a Wednesday. Um, make sure to put close on Christmas, okay? So you, you, you will have to log in here uh, several times a year to change this because uh, this is how people know when you're open, okay? And then once you do your business hours, uh, you can do your business logo if you want. This will show up on the receipt. This one's optional. It's not required, but you can do it if you want. Next thing to do is see see where it says order types right here. Uh, this step is very important uh, because when you install when you uh, when you install the online ordering. Oh yeah, make sure to press save like I just did. Press order types. 
once you install the online order, you'll see two new order types created for you called online order pickup, online order delivery. There's two of them, okay? You have to make sure you have more than two order types because you also want your in-store customers to order too. So what do you do? If you only see one or two, make a new one. Make a new one and call it in-store pickup or dine-in or something like that. I'm gonna call it in-store dine-in, okay? This is for you in-store customers. And then make sure to make this one default. So this is my in-store dine-in. So if you have more than two, if you have three of them, make one default. Make sure don't make pickup def don't make online order default. Make make in-store default. You can make it dine-in, whatever you want. Just don't make this one or this one default. So for this example, I'm gonna make dine-in default and then press save. Next step, uh, this is also very important. You have to press you have to press um, order receipts right here, okay? because your online customer is gonna leave notes for you. Like they'll say extra sauce, a cup of water, uh, no napkins or extra napkins or um, make it hot, make it something. They'll, they'll leave you special instructions. So you wanna check this box. That way you can read their note, which is printed on your Clover receipt. Okay, that's very important. Make sure to check this box right here. It's under order receipts. Also check the box show customer info because you wanna know who's ordering. If Bob orders uh, food, uh, you want to know what uh, Bob's information, so you have to check this box. That way, when Bob shows up, you have Bob's name and his order, and Bob will, will come up to the register and say, Hi, my name is Bob. I ordered this and that and this. And then you can say, Oh, Bob, I, I got your order. Here's your food. So make sure this box is checked, and then press Save. Next step, payment receipts, okay? This is also important. Uh, you have to scroll to the very bottom and check the box, Customer Information. Okay, do it again right here. This one is optional. You don't have to do this, uh, but this one is definitely required. Uh, that way you can know Bob's name on the customer's receipt. The order receipt's the one that goes to the kitchen or your Clover kitchen printer, whatever, wherever your kitchen printer is. Uh, it could be in the back, it could be in the front. You want that for your cooks, okay? This is the payment information, the customer's receipt. When they come pick up their food, you hand it to them uh, and you match that by their name on the receipt, okay? So make sure those two things are checked. Now, um, I try to make this video short, but it's getting a, bit, a little bit longer than what I expected. Um, but I'm gonna show you one last thing, okay? And I'll wrap up the video. When you make your order online page, this is the back end of your order online page, okay? As you can see, it's, it looks kind of like the Clover, but it's not. So make sure, don't get this confused with the Clover. This is for your order online page. You'll notice, notice a, a tab here called Clover Orders. You'll, you'll, 95% of the time, you will be working with this button right here, Clover Orders, and then Settings, okay? You can go straight to these, but go to Settings, okay? Why are we doing this? This is because the, the order online page comes with default delivery on. So if you're not doing delivery, the first thing you wanna do is go to Order Types right here. Look what I, just watch how I'm doing this. Order Types and then find delivery, press edit, disable it, okay? Disable it, because if you are uh, if you don't disable it, someone's gonna do a delivery order, okay? But if you are doing delivery, then you have to make sure that you add your delivery radius. That's very important. Some customers, they forget to add their delivery radius. So let's say you're in Philadelphia, and you're only delivering within three miles, make sure to add that so customers from over here don't order or somebody from over here doesn't order because that's gonna take you quite some time to drive there to drop it off. It's very important that you add your delivery areas because you don't want people ordering outside your zone. So how do you do that? You make a zone, zone one or zone two, whatever you wanna call it, just give it a name. This name's not gonna appear nowhere, it's just for your reference, just put a radius. If you don't know what your radius is, just start with, start with three miles or start with five miles. Uh, if you live in a busy city, start with three miles. If you live in like in a more uh, an area where there's not many traffic, uh, you could put 10 miles. But just start this out somewhere and then you can adjust it later. See, I have three mile radius. I'm, I'm, I'm delivering with three mile radius of my location. This is my location. This is how far I'm re uh, delivering to. And then press validate selected zone and then press save changes. One thing I noticed merchants do is they also put a fixed delivery fee. Don't put nothing here unless you're delivering to the whole United States. This is fixed, means it, meaning it'll override your delivery zone. See this? See what it says right here? 
This will overwrite any delivery fees you added when drawing the map. So only put here if you are delivering to the whole United States. If not, leave it blank because uh, you want you, you only want it to deliver through here. All right, once you do that, just press Save Changes, okay? Since I'm not doing delivery here, I'm going to ignore that. Next thing you do, you want to press um, Categories and Items. Upload your category images if you want to. You don't have to, but it's optional. You can do that. Just press Update. And then what you do, and you can add your description right here to the bowls. Uh, uh, you can change the category name. You can also reorder it. Just put your mouse over it, up, move it up and down. Modifier groups. If you, if you don't want to offer protein, hide it. If you do want to offer protein, leave it enabled. Speaking of hiding it, I forgot to mention that you can also hide your categories. Okay, how do you hide your category? Press back. See this? This is this is this is enabled. This is if you, if it goes this direction, it's hidden. But I'm going to leave it enabled, of course. Um, but in your case, you may want to hide this. Okay. Modifier groups. Let's say you're offering protein, but you don't want to offer um, shrimp. You can hide the shrimp. Okay. That's optional. You can do that. Checkout settings. You can offer your customers how they want to pay. Do you want to accept cash? Then turn this on. Do you want to accept uh, cash on delivery? Then turn this on. These are all optional. It's up to you how you want to do that. Uh, coupons. You want to accept coupons? Uh, very important that you can do that. Just uh, enable coupons and people can start using coupon codes. How do you do coupon codes? Right here, coupons. Okay. I have separate videos for all these different things. So I'm, that's why I'm going kind of fast to kind of give you an overall picture of how everything works because I know it's overwhelming at first. But as you start using the app, it'll make sense. It starts to pick up. It's uh, very user friendly. Okay. Service fees. You can you can offer your customers service fees. Okay. Um, this is very important. Uh, not not important as in as in to say you have to do this. Important that that the option is available. Okay. So you can say I want to uh, charge five percent per online order. You can do that. Tips. Uh, tips. You can enable tips. You can have your customers leave tips. Okay. Um, verify with SMS. Uh, remember to read these things. What these are for before you uh, start using them. Uh, this one is people who pay with cash they can they don't have to verify their identity they can they can just pay, they can just submit the order and then show up but not recommended okay it, it, depending on where you're located uh, if you are if you know all your customers then you can uh, disable this but if you don't know all your customers then enable it so that way they have to verify their identity because you don't want people to order and not show up uh, okay special instructions you can change the message that appears on the special instructions page or the checkout page okay um, I don't want to go too much into this because a lot of information, uh, you know, I'd rather just kind of have you start it out and then learn in the process, okay? But again, see, see how there's so many other options you can choose from. Um, but if you ever do get stuck, there's video tutorials right here. Click on it, watch my videos. I have many other videos on different topics. But if you don't want, if you don't want to watch videos, you want to see uh, uh, images or text, then you can select on Feedback Help. And then click on this link right here. Click on this, and this will take you to the online order tutorial uh, support center. So let's say uh, you, you're on this page and you forgot how to hide an image. Just type in hide image, and then you'll get a. a it'll say uh, hide. Sorry, not hide. Yeah, hide uh, image, uh, or hide an item. Not hide image. I meant hide an item. Hide an item. Click on it, and then what will happen is you'll get a picture showing how to do it. See, it goes step by step. Let's say you want to learn how to do um, how to use a store settings feature. It's all here, okay? So everything you have uh, is is written here. So you can you, there's videos along with it too, okay? Um, so let's say you want to link it to your to your Wix website. Then you can click on guide to Wix users. Uh, let's say you want to do uh, delivery information. It's all here, okay? I'm kind of maybe going too much information. I don't want to overwhelm uh, you with too much information. But this is a general how smart online order works. Um, again, just uh, install it, try it for 30 days, play around with it. If it's for you, then you can continue using it. If you don't like it, um, give us a call and you can easily uninstall it, okay? it's There's no contract, no commitment. Uh, try it out, let me know what you think. Um, you can email us, call us, uh, we're available uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, by email, you can email us seven days a week. All right.